Happy Eid Mubarak, everyone. So today on Diary of an Inner Fat Girl, I'm going to be showing you how to make a low carb version of a classic during this time. I have lots of Muslim friends. And in fact, I'm even fasting along with them, but um, Christian style, I guess. But I know that one of the things that, you know, a lot of Muslims do or a lot of Christians even do when they're breaking their fast during this period um, is they eat akara and ugi. Akara and ogi is one of the traditional Nigerian foods that we eat and it's kind of like a, I would say almost like a custard really, but it's not really a custard. Akara is um, fried beans, um, so it's like a bean pie, but they fried it. And so I'm going to be making my own low carb take on it and I'm going to be making fish akara. That's right, you heard me, fish akara. And then I'm going to be making some homemade custard. Um, we previously have made um, eggplant ogi before, so I didn't want to like make it again. So we're just going to refer back to the link where you can check out how to make that. Um, you can also make cauliflower ogi, which is another option uh, that you could try out. And it's basically made the same way the eggplant ogi is made. So anyway, today we're going to be making fish akara and homemade custard. Everything's going to be low carb and sugar free. So this is going to be a great option for those people who are fasting but are still trying to watch their weight. So let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is introduce to you all the ingredients that we're going to be using. I'm going to start off by cooking the akara and then we'll move on to the custard afterwards. So this is just the ingredients for the akara. The first ingredients we're going to be using is croaker. As you can see, I've not used too much. I've actually just probably cut up one medium sized fish into four slices. We have uh, three eggs. And we're not necessarily going to use all three and I'll explain as the recipe uh, goes on. We have um, chili pepper. We have ginger powder. We have garlic powder. We've got a mix of like um, Southwestern spicy, you know, all purpose seasoning, which I've mixed together myself. Uh, it's like basically my replacement of Maggi and you don't have to, and it has no sugar in it. So that's great as well. So that's what we've got here. And then we have our sea salt. So the first step of this process is to first of all, parboil your fish. First things first, we're gonna add a little bit of water into the pan. Um, I don't wanna to add too much because we're just trying to steam our fish ever so slightly. We're not trying to like boil it, boil it, boil it. So I'm gonna wait till that comes up to a boil. In the meantime, I'm actually going to go ahead and season my fish. So I've got, I'm adding all the spices that I had shown you before, pretty generously. Okay, and then we're going to add a little bit of salt to it as well. And while that's boiling, I'm just going to turn it and make sure all the fish gets a little bit of flavor. Okay guys, so we're back and now we've got our water up to a boil. We've seasoned our fish and we're gonna go ahead and add the fish into the pot. Oh baby, tell me what you like now you are see. And we're just gonna leave that to boil until soft. So now the fish is boiling, it's gonna take about 10 to 15 minutes just depending on how high your heat is and the type of fish you chose to use. So we'll be right back soon. <laughs> So welcome back and now I have gone ahead and put our boiled fish into the food processor. Now what we're going to do since we've already seasoned the fish, I'm just going to go ahead and add our first egg. Oh yeah, hold something, hold something. Eat a show for your eyes. So now we've got our egg in the food processor and now it's time to blend. I just want to die for you, die with you, kill for you, fight for you. I just okay, so we're back and we have shown you the consistency of our Akara mix. 
it is beautiful it's nice and it looks just like the original um, so we're gonna get started okay and so what we've done now is we've got our oil in our pan and I'm using coconut oil and I'm using a little bit more than I would normally use just because I am trying to fry it so here's here goes nothing so Felix I'll hold the ball for you you start oh, you are the only Okay, so we're back and our akara is currently frying. It's turning out fantastic. Um, I would control the heat. You don't want it too hot, but at the same time, you want it hot enough. When frying, one of the tips that I use is that I don't let any of my food immerse, meaning that I don't want oil to cover the top or the bottom of my food because that way the oil gets in so much more. I pan fry, so I'll, pa I'll fry the bottom and flip and fry the top. It, it allows the food to cook properly from within without oil having to get all the way into it. Um, so that's exactly what we're doing here. So now that we're flipping our akaras, one of the things I want to let you know is that once you've seen that it's cooked a little bit and it's browned ever so slightly, that's, and it's actually congealed well, that's a good time to go ahead and flip your akara around. Uh, you'll see in the video that I've zoomed in to show you how to do that. The reason being is that you want both sides of your akara to cook equally and you want them to cook at the same time. Once the other side's cooked, we're gonna flip it back again uh, so that that way every, every side gets an opportunity to cook well. It smells absolutely delicious in here. I'm super excited um, about this recipe. It's so easy. It's quite affordable because you can use any fish that you want and it tastes delicious. Hi guys and welcome to the second part of our cooking segment. Now that our akara is ready, I'm going to get us started on making our homemade custard. So let me first of all introduce you to all of our ingredients. So we have some eggs. We have an egg divider. Look, I can divide eggs um, without even using it, but I think it's so cool. So then we have our coconut cream mixed with almond milk. I just like the flavors that it gives, but you can use whatever you want. I have some stevia drops. It's a vanilla sweetener, something different from the sugar, along with some vanilla extract mixed together. Finally, you guys, I'm so excited about this because I just found it recently. At Ebano in Lekki, those of us who live in Lekki, they sell these like different like sweet um, flavorings. So they have vanilla, banana, coconut, and guess what I found? Condensed milk. And the reason I'm so excited about this is because one of the things I miss most about custard, one of the things I miss most about like quicker oats and things like that is the creamy milk because it's just so fattening. It's just so... It can just take a, a meal that's, you know, maybe three, 400 calories and make it 800 calories just with the condiments. So by using this condensed milk flavor, and I purposely put it in a bottle because this is something I found that you can buy in Nigeria. Woohoo! This will give it that peak milk flavor uh, to your custard. So I thought that was pretty dope and I just wanted to introduce you guys to that. So anyway, let's get started. And we're going to start off by boiling our milk and our cream. And we're going to leave that to get warm. So while that's boiling, inside of our milk and our cream, we're gonna go ahead and add our vanilla extract and our stevia sweetener. I've left a little bit because I'm gonna mix some with the egg. The next step is we're gonna break all three eggs because we're trying to create our custard base. So you just break the egg. Just put that in there. Then you kind of shake away the white. And I never get rid of egg whites because they're so valuable. You can make so many things with them. I'll probably just turn it into an omelet uh, later on. So we're going to take our egg, uh, our egg yolk and we're just going to put it into the bowl. And we're going to repeat. All right, so that is the third egg. So we're going to put our egg whites to one side because that is the end of our relationship with egg whites when we're making custard. Now, the remaining of my sweetener and my vanilla I'm just going to go ahead and put amongst the egg whites and I'm leaving our milk as you can see our milk now has come up to a nice boil 
and we're going to leave that uh, the milk to thicken for a while. I put a couple of drops. So the next step is for you to get a hand mixer. To mix mix until it gets thicker. Some people use uh, baking sugar or baking sweetener, but I decided to just go for something different this time. What we're going to do is we're going to slowly start adding the milk into our mixture. So I'm just first of all going to put a little bit, okay, adding it slowly. So we're just going to add the milk slowly and mix vigorously while adding the milk. Not too much, not too sweet. As I said, whenever you're using the drops, it's not like sugar. You've got to be really conservative. And just like what I do with salt, I would wait to the end before adding any extra sugar. So now, as you can see, we've mixed all our mixture together. I'm just going to whisk it one more time. And then I'm actually going to put it back onto the fire. And I turned off my pot because it's already hot. Now we've got our mixture together and it's time to add it back into the pot again. I'm just gonna start stirring slowly. So now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna keep the heat on pretty low um, and we're just gonna stir it until it gets thicker. Hi guys, we're back and I'm here with Mama Lucy. Mama Lucy takes care of my kids for me and she's awesome. And Mama Lucy, you are my official taste tester today. So we're making homemade custard and we made some fish akara. So this is our finished product and this is how I would serve it. Just because I like plating. So some may say, oh, it's not enough custard, but actually you'll find that this is actually a great serving size for you and it might be a, it's a good option uh, for you I should have used a smaller bowl but I didn't have one but um, I just want to be conservative with my portion sizes but if you want more custard add more milk it's really simple so mama Lucy is helping me today she's going to taste it and let me know her opinions so mama Lucy this one that custard okay and this one na uh, akara but I make them with fish so I know you use beans make them so basically you guys this is a protein packed meal and Mama Lucy, please taste, let us know. Mm, it's nice. Very nice. Yeah. Is it like smooth in your mouth like normal custard? Yes. Is it too sweet? Not, Not too sweet. Nice. Does it remind you of Akara somehow or it tastes different? No. It's, it's okay. good? It's okay. You guys, is Mama Lucy approved? So we just want to wish you happy Eid Mubarak and we want to thank you so much for tuning in. Please subscribe, please follow us on Instagram, please follow us on Snapchat, Life of Rona, and um, to find out more healthy recipes. So those who are fasting, those who aren't, this is a great recipe to make for your friend or a significant other who is still trying to participate in the festivities but not gain too much weight. Thank you, have a great day. Stay blessed and remember your body is a temple of God.